down the Northeast Corridor, and yeah. uh, it's been off and on. It's been off and on. Kate Bilo joins us now. And we still are tracking a few showers tonight, although the good news is the heaviest rain has moved out mm -hmm, for anyone mm -hmm, with some mm -hmm. Friday night plans. But you may still have to worry about some problems out on the roads overnight in the form of fog. We've got some dense fog forming overnight and into tomorrow morning, and that could lead to some low visibility on the roads. Here's a look at what's going on right now. We'll take you up to Bethlehem, where not seeing a ton of fog just yet, but you can see the roads are wet. Had a good soaking move through the area the entire northeast really all day today. Here's what it looks like on Storm Scan 3 as that band of rain we've been tracking this all week on future weather behaved pretty much exactly as anticipated and now moving through New York City and we are starting to dry out. There are still a few scattered showers to the west of this moving through portions of Lancaster and Chester counties, but for the most part the steady rain is over and now we're going to see temperatures rise but also see that fog form through the overnight hours. Take a look at some of our future visibilities as we head toward midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Visibilities near zero in parts of the area as dense fog develops. A lot of times you see that when warmer, moist air starts to move in. And even early tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., very low visibility. Finally, by about 10 a.m., we'll see those visibility numbers start to rise. But if you're going to be out and about anytime overnight or early Saturday morning, just be safe on the roads. The fog can be dense and it will come up on you quickly. And that foggy start to our Saturday will last. We'll keep it a bit cloudy through the afternoon. Then we've got this system approaching late Sunday into Monday. Showers could begin anytime Sunday, but especially Sunday night. And then Monday, this storm works its way up the eastern seaboard. Looks very typical to a snowstorm setup. It's just not cold enough. Look how much rain we'll see through the day Monday and into Monday night. Some spots seeing one to two inches of rain and gusty winds, especially at the coast, up to 45 or 50 miles an hour. So overnight, watch for that fog to develop. 41 degrees, mostly cloudy. Morning fog for your Saturday, then staying cloudy, but it's warm at 55 for the high. And your eyewitness weather seven day forecast keeps us mild through the weekend. Then Monday, rain and wind will hold temps in the 40s. Morning rain Tuesday, finally some sun returning by Wednesday. Up next, Don Bell with sports and what the Sixers stud rookie is saying about his all-star game rejection.